This paper presents a multi-layered multi-pattern central pattern generator that provides humanoid robots the ability to generate motor patterns in order to perform various upper body tasks. This CPG has two control levels, one for pattern formation that is responsible for coordination, and another for pattern generation that is responsible for selection. A unique feature of this CPG is its ability to generate oscillatory, semi-oscillatory, and non-periodic patterns locally, simply through descending control signals. Through this CPG model, robots' legs and arms are controlled with exactly the same neural model and generate rhythmic and discrete behaviors. Such a model is indispensable when a whole body motion involves coordination between body parts. However, this paper addresses the using of MLMP CPG only for upper body motions. Two CPG were employed on two different joints of a humanoid robot and the generated patterns were used to perform two tasks, reaching and writing. In the reaching task, the goal for the robot was to reach a destination point, which was visually presented in the camera space. To do this, the robot had to go through two learning steps. In the first step it was trained to map the destination reaching point in the camera space to its corresponding shoulder and elbow joint angles. The training samples for this learning step were collected by manually moving the hand to random positions inside the reachable space and record the corresponding joint's values. The collected samples were then trained on a two-input two-outputs Bella model articulation controller to associate the end effector space with the joint space and build the inverse model. In the second learning step, we map the amplitude of the peak of the quiescent pattern with the value of parameter alpha in the pattern formation layer. The robot collected the training samples for this learning step by randomly exploring different values of alpha and subsequently obtaining values for amplitude. The training data was fed into a one-input one-output multi-layered perceptron to map the amplitude into the corresponding values of alpha. The robot was able to reach any point on the table where it was trained, simply by selecting appropriate values for the descending control. In the writing task, firstly, the robot learned to write different simple patterns. In the learning phase, patterns are visually presented to the robot. The motor command involved in writing simple patterns was guided by the descending control at the pattern formation layer for the shoulder and the elbow. To learn an appropriate coordination between the two joints, we used the gradient descent algorithm to find the optimal values of the descending control alpha. During each trial, the robot writes a simple pattern using a pair of alpha values and then calculates the similarity between the new pattern drawn and the reference presented pattern. The goal of the gradient descent algorithm was to search for a pair of alpha values that maximizes this similarity. However, during the entire learning step, the standard pattern chosen at the rhythm generation layer was manually selected as we only address the pattern adaptation in this work. The robot learned three different simple patterns. This sequence of images shows the learning involved to correctly write those three simple patterns. The learned patterns were then combined manually in a particular order to write numbers ranging from 0 to 9. Through this model the patterns are internally generated from the CPG and the vision is used as a feedback for evaluation and shaping. The MLMP CPG is inspired from neurophysiological findings in animals' experiments. According to its structure, this neural network has two control levels, rhythm generation control and pattern formation control. The rhythm generation control identifies the generated patterns, while the pattern formation control shapes these patterns. We assume that the two control levels are originated from two different centers, the first is responsible for pattern selection while the second is responsible for pattern execution. This assumption fits well with the neurobiological findings that show the roles of the basal ganglia and the sbellum in the selection and execution of motion. Staying away from the hypothetical description of a detailed supraspinal circuitry, this section shows how adding noise into the system will influence the generated motor behavior. We found that the existence of two control levels will help overcome the divergence in case of reaching task. Three scenarios are modeled for the reaching task. A normal reaching behavior was performed without including noise into the system. At rhythm generation layer, quiescent pattern was employed. At the pattern formation layer, we used the inverse model to find the corresponding values of alpha. The robot was able to move its arm from an initial position to the final position and reach the goal. Secondly, a random noise had been added to the system at the pattern formation descending control. 
This was done by introducing a noise into the descending control that influenced the parameter alpha obtained from the learned MLP. The robot was not able to reach its required destination in the first trial unlike the normal scenario. Instead, it would follow some other track that diverges from the actual destination. After it had reached the new destination the robot will take a new decision trying always to reach the goal. This process continued until the robot hand reached the goal. However, during the entire process, no visual feedback was used by the robot. Based on the proprioceptive feedback, the robot was able to correct its actions until it reached the goal. In the last stage, we introduced random noise into the proprioceptive feedback. As a result, the arm diverged from its actual destination to reach a new destination while performing the reaching task. Once the robot realized this diverging effect using visual feedback, the robot took a new decision which was comprised of the new value of the injected current at rhythm generation layer and the new value for alpha at the pattern formation layer for the two CPG using the learned MLP. This process continued until the visual distance between the robot hand position and the goal position falls below a certain threshold. However, in the absence of any visual feedback, the robot failed to converge to the goal.